my game is dry, my experiment is growing mold on board. And what led you to choose this topic? I like mold. And what is your hypothesis that you are examining? My hypothesis is if we allow mold to grow on bread, then the, one, the breads without calcium propionate will mold faster. What is calcium propionate? It is a preservative a pres for bread. These are the breads that I have chosen to do my science experiment on. Here is bread one, nature's pride. It has no preservatives. Bread two, eating right kids, preservative calcium propionate. Bread three, open nature, no preservatives. Bread four, Sara Lee. It has a calcium propionate. Bread five, Sara Lee rainbow, no preservatives. Gorgonzola cheese! I have replaced bread one with dill rye. It has the preservative calcium propionate. On day eight, we have finally found mold on it. On all of the breads except for bread four. On bread one, we have uh, spots, bread two, more spots, three, a lot of spots. As I said before, bread four has nothing, and bread five has two spots. I have marked each bread with uh, a percentage of mold represented by these uh, squares. Cut out these 100 squares cut out of a piece of paper that is about the size of these pieces of bread. I have put a square covering up each piece of mold and come up with these numbers. For the first eight days it's all zero. For bread one, one percent Bread 2, 5%. Bread 3, which is the most, 9%. Bread 4, 0%. Most probably. Bread 5, 4%. Please check. Uh oh. I see cheese and feel pain. Today is day 10. We don't see much change from yesterday, except for bread 4, which remains dormant. Today is day 11 of the bread mold experiment. The numbers, the percentages of mold have changed drastically from day eight, as you can see, except for number four. I'm getting kind of disappointed at that. Today is day 12 in the bread mold experiment. This is getting to be very messy. We are starting to see not only green mold, but white mildew that sticks to the bag. More on that on day 13. I have taken each bread and magnified it 400 times with this microscope. Here are the images. This is bread one with the blue mold. This is a, a certain formation of the blue mold that I have found that looks like dandelion seeds. Here is bread two. This is blue mold taken from right here. Very hairy. Here 
Baker's Bread 3, which has a certain black-ish mold that is not on any of the other breads right here. That's a close-up image. Here is a bread 5 with a certain coloration to the bread. Probably just turned brown. Tadpoles! Eh, uh, 80%. Probably... Well... 70%. Ooh. 90. Swamp Beast! You scared? No. After 20 days of observing mold, this is our chart for the mold increasing, except for bread 4, which finally started to mold on day 19. I have made a graph, a ribbon graph, of the mold. The least is bread 4, which takes a while. Then at the bottom we have the days. On the side we have the percentages. Learned that the hypothesis was correct that calcium propionate can slow down the process of bread molding. I have sorted the breads into three categories. Bread 1, we're not exactly going to count because it was in the refrigerator for a couple of weeks before the experiment started. Bread 3 and 5 have no preservatives, so they started molding pretty quick. Bread 2 and 4 had calcium propionate, but bread 2 started molding as soon as the ones without preservatives. And bread 4 didn't start molding till day 19. I think that's because that bread 4 has more preservative than bread 2. Thank you. Well, along the way, I've realized that the breads should be in an airtight space, like a Ziploc. And even in a Ziploc, they start to smell really bad. I enjoyed this experiment because of the mold. Thank you.